Okay, this is the ninth in a series of videos that I'm making as supplements to some tutorials I posted to my PFSense blog at pfsensesetup.com. And in this video, I'm covering VPNs, virtual private networks, and this is going to take several videos because there's a lot to cover. And I want to cover all the VPN options and maybe do a video just comparing the advantages and disadvantages of each and, and maybe covering some of the other uh, options in, in depth. So first we're going to log into the PFSense web GUI and now we're now we're logged in and we can see at the top menu here there's a, there's a VPN uh, heading here and there's four options here there's IPsec which is uh, Internet Protocol Security which is a secure uh, it's in, packets are encrypted end-to-end -end is a secure protocol it's fairly popular and then there's L2TP level 2 tunneling protocol which is uh, does not in the tunneling protocol itself doesn't encrypt anything it has to be encrypted se separately uh, there's open VPN which is an open source VPN tunneling protocol and then there's PPTP point-to-point -point tunneling protocol which again uh, the tunneling protocol itself does not define any any encryption any encryption that it has comes through uh, uh, Point, PPP point to point protocol which it utilizes uh, and IPsec LT2P and PPTP are all supported by Windows so if you use these and you're using the Windows client to access the VPN then you don't have to install any additional software but if you use OpenVPN it you do need uh, separate uh, third-party software to do this and if my memory serves me correctly both IPsec and P PPTP are supported by Monowall and uh, L L2TP and OpenVPN are not and, and it seems like OpenVPN is gaining acceptance IPsec is so is in somewhat in decline but still very popular so we're going to cover IPsec first I'm going to go to IPsec on the uh, VPN menu here, and in order, there's three there's three uh, tabs here. We want to make sure that tunnels is selected. I'm going to click on the plus button here, and let's see, disable this phase one entry. We don't want to disable this interface. The, well, the endpoint is going to be the LAN interface. So I'm going to select LAN, and for Remote Gateway, I'm going to type in the IP address of the of uh, public IP address of uh, the Remote Gateway and enter a description my VPN and for authentication we have mutual PSK public shared key and mutual RSA which is a, a, a public private key encryption algorithms so I'll, I'll leave it to the encryption ex experts to debate which which one is better but I'm going to leave it at uh, PSK for purposes of this uh, video and we're going to type in a pre-shared key here You and we're going to save. There's a lot of different options here. Right now, I'm just going to save this. And we're going to click on Enable IPsec and save. And okay, we've sa we've saved the IPsec tunnel. We need to apply the changes. So we'll click on that, and we'll cover 
we'll we'll cover LT2P in the next video.